and David Tate. Yeah. And Hi. John Hughes. And it's been fantastic. Very much. We've had a thousand children through this morning and early afternoon. And now, in just probably an hour and a half, we've had uh, over or nearly 300 parents. Um, it, it's, there's a need for it, and, haven't we? We've opened yes. the need. And I, I think the comment I've had back from both the students and the teachers is the fact that it's the first time they've had this opportunity certainly from the students to interact directly with industry and business and, and, and uh, the general um, economic field, shall I say. So, yes, it's been very good. Very good. Well, so 57, 57 yeah. uh, participants. Yeah. 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 And basically, what all we're trying to do um, is to show the use of Stroudham District of all the available career options there are. And you'd be surprised that some schools, not mentioning any, but do not tell their pupils that you can have work experience, you can have apprenticeships, you can have university. And this is the beginning of a, I think, a long road. Exciting time. So another one next year, perhaps? Yes, it will yes, be, definitely. definitely. So my name's Lucy Bourne and I work for a company called Cloud2020. We specialise in software for businesses and we're here today to try and inspire youngsters into the technology industry. Um, so we're really talking generically about how the possibilities of technology, the areas of business that they can get involved in, whether it be sales or marketing, training, developing the product, coding, right down to the geeky stuff. Um, so we really were doing quite a generic look. And we worked with the youngsters to, we did a hands-on workshop to develop an app and it's going to be a, a competition for the whole day and we'll choose a winner at the end and there's been such inspiring ideas it's been really really fantastic some of them I'd like to go home and do myself to be honest with you so it's been really great um, we've also been encouraging the youngsters to develop their online presence so to think about how um, employers might see them um, from an online perspective because 9 out of 10 employers in the UK will look online before they even look um, at having you into their offices for an interview and so you can use that to your advantage and so that's what I've been talking about today so I work for 7 White energy agency and we're a local Gloucestershire based charity and we look at affordable warmth and sustainable energy throughout the region um, it's been great to come here today and work with all the young people and showing them kind of we've been working with uh, thermal heat cameras and showing them how to reduce energy across their schools and looking at going into future careers with businesses and in the community so this is the students where they have um, they've been, one was pretending to be a house and they've kind of put insulation around themselves to show how the heat doesn't escape when they've been insulated and that's a, a friend who hasn't been insulated I think we've got another one that's quite good where it's only the face is the heat escaping Mr November yeah Mr November yeah 2014 yeah yeah great yeah yeah so what was that about yeah uh, we did a charity calendar um, one of our receptionists has got a charity going for about five different charities she's actually going to go to She's going to climb a mountain. I want to say Kilimanjaro, I'm not sure. But yeah, we did it as part of that. Just right. try and raise a bit of money for it. Yeah, but you're yeah. not here as Mr. November. No, no, we're not. <laughs> so we're here, tell me more. We're yeah. here as everyone active. Um, we run Stratford Park at the moment, okay? Um, we're here to obviously offer, we'll say what we've got on offer. We've got apprenticeship programs for children, or well, 16 year olds onwards, for the IOS um, Institute of Swimming, which we're actually interviewing for at the end of this month. So if you want to get in quick, get in quick. Um, we've also got lifetime apprentices for the gym and to come level one, level two, and level three personal trainers. So we've got some stuff going on. And yeah, what's so the interest been like today? It's been good, yeah, yeah. The children this morning from the schools, they're all, you know, they got into it, got very positive. And this afternoon, we've given a lot of advice out on how to do it. And obviously, uh, express their own personal opinions on which way to go. So, Great. yeah, it's been good. Brilliant. Really good. And your real name? Not Rob. Mr. Rob. Rob. Okay. Yeah, Cheers. I'm Rob. Not Mr. November. Yeah, <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah, okay. What have you found today? Um, it was really interesting and um, I learned a lot about different businesses and like worked a bit more about what I want to do when I grow up and maybe like what routes I want to take. Great. So which is anyone that's taken your fancy particularly? Law, definitely. And also going into like just doing business side of things Great. because that seems fun. Yeah, it's pretty interesting and if I was going to do anything I'd probably do like law or sports. So, yeah. yeah. I'm Sarah Dunning. Uh, I run a business called Westmoreland and we are building Gloucester Services, which is the motorway service area between junctions in 11A and 12 of the M5. Great. And so what's it been like today? Uh, it's been fabulous. It is just wonderful to talk to um, 
girls and boys like we've just met right now who are so resourceful and so confident and really interested in the outside world and what's going on it's 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 really energizing actually it's great well we're going yes. to we're, we we are starting recruiting now and we are going to be recruiting about 180 people over the next few months so this is a big employment project and it's going to involve all sorts of skills from HR to marketing to business administration, catering retail, so um, a bit of something for everyone I think. So. Well I'm Gavin and I'm, I've been recruited by Sarah to head up the project so I'm going to be the, the head of services for Gloucester. So Brilliant. today has been, it's been a real success for us. Hello I'm Catherine Green from WSP Solicitors, we're at the Ambitions event and we've been here all day. Um, we've, this morning we've been doing workshops with the children and we've been doing mock trials so it's been great. I was the judge and all my colleagues were helping with the barristers and we had the, the, the uh, year nines giving the arguments for the uh, defence and for the claimants as so we had an interest in personal injury claim and an interest in employment claims. So we've had lots of fun and we're now into the evening bit and we're talking to lots of different uh, children, older children with their parents and teachers and careers people. We've got involved because there's a local firm, we just like to get involved in things that are going on and of course the children are the future. Sounds tacky but it's true. Uh, I'm Chris Ginch, I'm Careers Advisor for CITB, that's the Construction Industry Training. It's been fantastic. Um, for most of the day we've had the morning and the afternoon session where we've had school children in from Year 9 and that's been from the Comprehensives, the Grammars and the Independents in Stroud. And on the stand today we've had them playing around with plastic sort of building kit, getting them to build bridges and getting them to learn about different jobs they can do in construction like bricklaying, carpentry, architecture, uh, structural engineering. So it's been really good, really hard work. We're the construction industry's training provider, so we're here sort of this evening probably talking mostly about apprenticeships. We have a managing agent uh, that works up and down the UK, um, but we've got regional staff. I'm a Stroud native, born and bred, and we've got Maria and Ian are our training officers um, who both live in Gloucester. And really our training provider exists to help young people into apprenticeships, so we can put them in touch with local vacancies in Stroud and Gloucester and Cheltenham put them in touch with vacancies for jobs that they might want to do. And Maria and Ian's job as training officers is then to guide them through their apprenticeship and to kind of sort of act as their best friend and mentor if you like and to make sure that those young people get the qualifications and then can move into a career in construction and hopefully stay in construction for the rest of their working life. Where's my logo? Hang on. Where's yeah, there's your logos in the background. That's all right. So who, who are you and, and why are you here today? Yes. Well, I'm John Gasson. I'm the owner of Zeta Printing Services. We've been trading for 30 years, and I've been in the print trade for 44. It's been a very, very interesting day today. We've had uh, plenty of youngsters, which uh, showed a lot of interest and uh, learned one or two new skills by having to fan out paper, which was really quite interesting. Uh, there was paper flying all over the place, and uh, yes, it did well. It was really good today. Hope to do it again next year. Hope I can give something back to the community. I'm uh, Staff Sergeant David Heinsohn and I currently work in the um, Army Force, Armed Forces Careers Office in Gloucester, representing the British Army. Um, today we've been here, it's really about awareness. We're not out actively recruiting people, it's making people, and certainly young people, aware of the opportunities available in, in the British Army today. We have over 220 different roles on offer, uh, and it's about making those young people aware of opportunities. Especially in the current climate where people have seen that we've been making um, redundancies, and people think that we're not recruiting and we're actively recruiting on an ongoing basis every year uh, and that's what we've been here today and what about the interest here today yeah the interest has been really really good and we've made the point to young people about the importance of, of, of having a good education because even as the army we prefer people to have an education we do take people without qualifications but we prefer if they do and we provide the opportunity for them to do that afterwards if they do but we've had lots of interest lots of good questions and especially from females um, again we're an equal opportunities employer uh, and we actively encourage the females and some of the younger females were quite surprised actually they were thinking you know some girls even thought they couldn't join the army um, but yeah we've that's great We've made them aware today of the opportunities available. Great. Hi, I'm Sergeant Mike Davies, an RF policeman, currently based at the Armed Forces Careers Office in Gloucester, Gloucester Docks, and representing the RAF. And I say within the RAF, we have over 50 careers, different trades that we've got ranging from pilots to engineers, medics, RF police and chefs, drivers, 
a whole host of different trades and branches that you can go for. Great. And what's the interest been like today? Very busy. Um, I've been here since 4.30 and I've had two breaks where we've not, we've not stopped basically. So it is, has been very busy. Great. Age ranges from about 13 up to 21 at the moment. So very, very good. With the National Careers Service, we provide free careers advice for people from 13 through to retirement. Well, a lot of people don't know. We're described as the government's best kept secret, actually, and it's free. People don't know they can get free careers advice, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. so, so where would they come? For where? young people, um, they would start with a phone number, an 0800 number, so it's free of charge. If they're ringing from a mobile, lots of people, young people ring from mobiles, then tell them they're ringing from mobile and they'll ring back. Um, they can also go to our website, just put National Career Service into your favourite search engine, page for young people, page for everybody else, and find the information you need. Right. And so most of it's done over the telephone, or is it face-to-face -face as we well? We also provide face-to-face. -face. That starts at 18, if you're not in employment or education, 19 for absolutely everybody else. And everybody's entitled to an appointment. For some people, we provide a greater level of service, if you're in need, you're job hunting, whatever it happens to be. But everybody can use us. Great. Well, I'm, I'm Paul Moyer. I'm uh, from Paint at Rococo Garden, and um, I'm here for two reasons, really. I mean, a little bit, obviously, to, to plant the Rococo Garden, but probably more importantly, I'm, I'm very interested in tourism as, a, as an industry and trying to promote tourism as an industry. Um, and I think it's, it, it, it was very, very popular about five years ago with students, but it seems to have lost that popularity. So maybe it's trying to sort of build that up again and to explain to people um, how many walks in life, how many careers actually have tourism as part of them. You know, it, it, it's not just a very, it's not just being a hotel manager or working an attraction like ourselves. Lots of other jobs have tourism elements to them. So let's hope we can get more people interested in it. Great, thank you. I'm Jane Moore. I'm I work at the University of Gloucestershire on the secondary PGCE program. Um, I'm here promoting both primary and secondary education courses at the university. And we, in secondary in particular, we work closely in association with the Gloucestershire Association of Secondary Heads. So our programmes are very school-based, which is the way teacher training is going in general. So we're trying to encourage young people to go and get the right qualifications from the word go in order to facilitate coming into teaching. Great. And what's the interest been like today? Very good, very good. We were the most popular. We had 22, 10 sessions of 22 young people here every time. So we were very, very, very pleased. Uh, I'm Chris. I'm a young apprentice at CLG Engineering and we're here to promote uh, mechanical engineering and apprenticeships to young people to year nine. Up to year 11 just letting them know the, the options that are out there. And what's it like being an apprentice as well? Anything? Yeah, no, it's great, yeah. Good it's problem. great, hands-on work, yeah. <laughs> Boss, yeah, good team. <laughs> My name's Alistair, I'm an uh, apprentice at CLG Engineering and uh, I'm currently studying for my HNC. Uh, yeah, basically I started off at the company working on machines and I've worked my way up to working in the office. And what, what would you say to someone looking for a career in engineering? Or? Uh, do it because it's diverse and uh, there's lots of options to, to go into. The country needs engineering. Yeah, and the country needs them. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you. Yeah, I'm Jill, I'm the personnel manager at Waitrose in Stroud and really we've come to advertise the retail um, aspect of it and looking outside the box so in retail and waitrose it's not just shopping in a shop you actually need to look at different skills so we do need accountants to work in our finance we do need to have buyers for our suppliers we do need to have designers to design our products like our food oh she's just taken those but we do need people to design the packaging and make it attractive so that's what we've tried to do today um, this morning and in the afternoon we brought our fish specialist and it showed the skills of how he could actually prepare the fish and to show how much coursework and actually they have to do to get to that but they get paid more for doing it so it's well worth it we tried to get people to look at that. My name is Jenny, Jenny Priest and I was Sainsbury's in Stroud and we're here looking to uh, help young people from year nine to make decisions about their GCSE choices and perhaps long-term career options, changing the perception of what it's like working in a supermarket. Great. And so how's it been? How's it gone down? Tiring, long day. We've done 10 sessions back to back. 
which actually were really interesting and seeing the different feedback that we've got you know from different groups and they're surprised in the fact that there are so many different career paths in uh, retail so even though we're here for retail of course we're from Sainsbury's so it's a double-edged sword really. It's been a very very successful day I think. The, I think the organisers should be proud. It's a good idea to have all the organisations in one place rather than going to lots of little places throughout the year. It's a good idea. Yeah, I'm PC Paul Matthews from Stride Police Station. Um, we've been asked just to come along today and uh, give people a bit of an insight into police uh, and day-to-day -day activities, really, and uh, quite what it what, what people would need to actually uh, enrol and become police officers or police community support officers as well. Great. And what's the interest been like? It's been very good. It's been very good. A lot of young people who you know maybe haven't got 100% decided they want to be a policeman, but it's certainly uh, well up there on their list and gives us an opportunity to. Uh, speak to them on a one-to-one -one basis and let them know what the realistic police life is like. Great. Yeah. Uh, my name's Andy. Great. Um, I'm one of the directors of Stride Sports Clinic. Um, basically, we deliver um, physiotherapy and sports therapy as well as rehabilitation and corrective exercise. Um, we have uh, two centres running at the moment with a third about to open up. So one's here at Stratford Park, one at another gym in, in, in Stride and a new football centre is about to open up. A um, lot of interest in physiotherapy and things like that today, so it's been really, really good. A um, lot of interesting minds as well, so it's been, it's been quite an ex enjoyable experience, so I've enjoyed it. Uh, we're at SGS College and we are the Faculty of Healthcare and Wellbeing and we're representing hair and beauty therapy and complementary therapies that we deliver over at Stride College. Great, and so and what has the day been going? It's been fantastic. We've had oh, 12 people sometimes on some of the sessions and they've been full and they've had a really great time. It's been quite interactive and it's been good. Great, and so what sort of careers or opportunities are there? Uh, lots of careers opportunities, as you can see at the back. We've got right through from entry level and we go right the way through to level four um, so that they can go out into the industry in both hair, beauty, makeup artistry. So there are lots of things on offer. Yeah. Okay. My name is Helen Pierce. I'm the HR manager for WSP Textiles. Uh, we've been here uh, all morning and all afternoon, and we've had a quite a good, a good uh, turnout of pupils. Some are more interested than others, um, and I think we've been able to give them a good insight as to what we're about. And what are you about? Uh -huh. We're about we're a woollen manufacturer, and uh, we are British owned and we produce bays for snooker tables, billiard tables and that type of thing and we also produce the material that covers tennis balls and the tennis balls are used in the American Open for example, the French Open and also Wimbledon as well so we are a world class manufacturer of wooden products. Great stuff and what's the interest been like? The interest has been varied, uh, a lot of engineering interest, uh, a lot of uh, perhaps design, artwork and that type of thing um, and I think a lot of the students are sort of literally deciding which, which sort of area to go into. Uh, for example, engineering, they're, they're just starting to realise that there are different types of engineering to go into. Uh, we've hopefully demonstrated the fact that there are different avenues they can follow within WSB Textiles. I'm Beverly Carter and I work at WSB Textiles and I'm the Business Technical and Development Manager. I've had a lovely day talking to lots of lovely students, um, some of whom know what they want to do, others which are have no idea and they're just deciding what options they're going to do, trying to keep their options open and basically looking at what they might want to do when they grow up. Okay, hello, my name's Josie, I'm the dog warden at Stroud District Council and we've been here today telling everyone about animal welfare within the... Uh, within the Stroud District Council, sorry. Uh, we do all sorts of things, we're the dog warden, so we collect stray dogs. We also deal with animal related noises, dog fouling complaints, and any animal welfare complaints. Great, and there's been much interest in, in that? There's been an awful lot of interest. We've been really pleased, and we've been able to help people with uh, animal welfare courses and getting into animal welfare work. Hi, uh, my name is Samuel Aitchison. Uh, I'm the senior bank manager for Lloyds Bank in Stroud, in the local branch. And I was invited to come along today to talk about careers within Lloyds Bank, and I thought it was a, a really good opportunity uh, for us to present Lloyds um, as the new bank on the on the high street with our revitalisation and, and rebranding that happened in September. And it's been fantastic to engage with all the children. Um, 
they've been I've been really really impressed with their mental arithmetic. We did a, a budgeting exercise um, and we needed calculators and, and they were doing it on the heads. So that was fantastic. Uh, and what was really great was them then returning them with their parents uh, later on um, to come and talk in a bit more detail about our apprenticeship program. And, and a lot of people are really uh, interested in our graduate scheme. So it's been fantastic. Um, I'm Anna and I'm a third year student at the Royal Agricultural University and we're here to discuss career options and higher education options with um, young people in Strad. So we've got several different schools at the RAU. Um, we've got the agric agriculture, um, property and business, um, all of which offer a diverse range of land-based careers um, from building new homes, to looking after a livestock, um, to entrepreneurship, anything you care to do in the film. What sort of interest have you found today? I've found a great deal, especially in livestock. Uh, there seems to be a lot of young people who are really interested in animals um, and getting hands on experience. We've urged everyone we've come across, whatever they're interested in doing, is to get as much experience as they can in whatever field. Um, so they can discuss and find out what they actually want to do. Great, thank you, that's perfect. Oh, I didn't catch your name. It's, well. it's Alice. Okay, I'm Judy Hill, I'm Chair of Art Couture in Painswick and we're here to show how important creativity is and to show that we give a platform for people to get involved in creativity in lots of different ways. As you can see, if you have a look around. These are the insides of an old broken computer. Stripped wires and capacitors on the net and all sorts of bits and bobs. Cable ties here dyed with nail varnish. Um, and here... Interest has been great. We had workshops running uh, this morning and this afternoon which were very well attended by lots of really enthusiastic students and, um, and they made uh, little, um, little beads, I can show you those in a moment, uh, and were either able to take them away so that they could take them home and have another think about them or they could leave them here for people who visited this evening. So they just spent five or ten minutes making these out of old scraps of leather, denim, uh, plastic, paper, felt, all sorts of things. This was designed by Meredith Adams, who a lot of the young people who've been here today know. And it's absolutely fabulous, a, a secondary school student, and she's used so many different techniques to get that made. So, you know, it's one of our showpieces, it's really good. So I'm, so I'm Phil Batterick, uh, yeah. Managing Director of Strategic IT Management, Yeah. and we do IT, deliver IT support to business customers in and around Gloucestershire been around for about 12 years now and uh, the reason for coming today was to try and help some of the uh, younger people that are um, in our local schools to decide whether or not they want to do IT as a career. I think I've successfully put most of them off so ho <laughs> hopefully we'll be getting the, the real good ones that want to follow it up but it's, uh, it's a worthwhile thing to do so any other employers out there that see this if these events come around I would encourage you to get involved because it's very rewarding and you know we need to make sure that our young kids are making the right choices when they uh, choose their subjects and, and get ready to leave school. Great. We've been taking the computer apart and putting it back together again, so, so a couple of them were a bit worried they were going to get electrocuted, but we didn't manage to kill anyone or electrocute anyone, so, so I think it's been a successful day, so yeah, excellent. Great. Excellent. So, so who are you? No! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> That's good. So yeah, who are you two? <laughs> uh, we're Sandra Bar... Oh, we're not. She's Sandra Bar, and I'm Carol Barker, and we're from Bar Bar Nursery. And we've been here since nine o'clock this morning, we've had a great day. With a Students have been really receptive, haven't they? We've had it really good. And what have we got out of it? Well, we've had a good time actually. And we've and some of them have come back and brought their parents to see us tonight, which is nice. And we've got a few volunteers from it and found out what interests some of these youngsters have towards childcare. Well, we've sort of focused on apprenticeships mm -hmm. mainly today with them and talked to them about apprenticeships. Hence. Pippa, here. Pippa. I'll sweep is, to her in a moment. There we is, go. Whoosh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Is an it started with us at 16 as an apprentice and yeah. has worked her way up and is now a room leader in, one of, at the, in our nursery at Kingsway. And that's the opportunities with us. But they could go on to become teaching assistants if they do their MVQs with us. That's the wrong word now, isn't it? CWDC, isn't it? CWDCs. Yeah, it. Great. Um, and just talk to them about that and the opportunities to get to level six, maybe Great. doing degrees, maybe mm. whatever they fancy doing. Brilliant.
Hello, Philip. How, who are you? Yes, that's I'm Mark Aboussier, <laughs> and, and I'm representing the Volunteer Centre. Um, we're here because um, we've been doing workshops all day with um, Year 9 students from various schools. And uh, now we're here just to um, explain what the Volunteer Centre does. And we've been explaining to the children that have been coming round um, what sort of volunteering work they can do in the community. A lot of them are doing uh, Duke of Edinburgh Awards. And um, there is unfortunately an age limit with volunteering in that um, a lot of charities don't actually insure you um, or, or their insurance doesn't actually cover you. So there are only limited things that you can actually do when you're sort of 13, 14, 15, which is the age group we're dealing with. Um, but there are still quite a few things like brownies and there's a lovely charity called All Sorts that helps dis disabled children and various other things that you can do um, as a volunteer. But the advantage of volunteering for these young people is that um, it's something extra they can put on their CV. So when they um, maybe do their personal statement to try and get to university or a CV to try and get a job, rather than just saying, I've been at school and I've got GSSEs and maybe A-levels, they can actually say they've done something in the real world and have got some real experience. And that, that's something really important for um, employers. Hi, I'm Karen Bunting. I'm from Siren Sister College, the um, specialist sixth form college in the area. I'm just here to, to help advise people on the type of A-levels they can take, and the BTEX, and also what they really do need to attain to actually get into the college. Okay, and so and what's the interest been like? It's uh... been really good, and, and the, the young people have come with excellent questions. They're really researching what they want to do, and they're thinking ahead, they're thinking about university, they're thinking about apprenticeships. So I've been really impressed with the type of uh, calibre of, of students coming along. My name is Kevin Hamblin, I'm principal of uh, South Gloucester and Stroud College. I'm here today to look at all the stands and so there's so many people coming here that um, we just it's the first year that we've uh, done this and what we need to do is see what goes right you know what we can improve for next year and really get the vibe and uh, what I'm hearing from everybody is um, you know how good the event is you know uh, informative uh, there's a wide variety of training providers and um, a lot of information has been given. I'm Helen Wingrave and I'm the Head of Performing Arts at SGS College Stroud. Great, and, and why are you here today then? Yeah. Well, in, in double capacity really, we had Year 9 students in earlier and I'm interested in just seeing what's out there and, and communicating to young people of Year 9 that there is a good reason to take drama, and music and the creative subjects at GCSE as they're taking their options this year because there are courses that they can progress to the post-16. Because we run a two-year BTEC, which is a level three course, it's equivalent to three A-levels in UCAS points, and it's a very practical course. We do six shows a year, uh, we, we have professional people coming in to give master classes, and we take the, the students out on trips and so on and so forth, and I run summer schools and I run taster days to recruit and promote this. And we do a lot of work within the community as well. We're working with um, Spaniel in the Works, and we were involved in the Stroud, um, first Stroud Theatre Festival. I deliver the course from the subrooms in town, so my, my kind of personal remit is to get involved with Stroud and to get Stroud involved with us. Um, in every possible <laughs> um, level, which which brings me nicely onto a Midsummer Night's Dream, <laughs> because in I think it's the third week of June, no second week of June, I'm directing a project um, in Stratford Park, in the Walled Garden, a promenade production of a Midsummer Night's Dream, which I'm now casting. <laughs> so I'm hoping to recruit students of all levels, from schools, from youth theatres from colleges to come and work with my students. This is a collaborative project across Stroud, across college. It's going to be a wonderful, hopefully funded and supported <laughs> production of a Midsummer Night's Dream here in Stratford Park in June.